For most of us, a race starts like this. But what I learned from my recent experience working at the San Manuel Copper Classic is that a race actually starts much differently. Now a video that would go over all the aspects of putting on an event like this could last over two hours. The amount of preparation and work that goes on to just getting the event location down and getting us out there is staggering. And since most of us don't possess the patience and attention span required to sit through a two hour video about a race, well, I'll do my best to shorten it up. For me, the 2017 Copper Classic started with a long drive down a scenic dirt road. When I arrived at San Manuel, most of the day's coursework had already been done. Several TRS members arrived early and got the course marked. I would be working tech inspection for the race and with a few hours to kill, I got the drone out and caught some course workers testing out a cool section. When we got back from putting some of the final touches on the course marking, riders were already showing up at registration. We ran tech inspection for a few hours, and the night concluded with a meeting for the race workers. Big bikes now for check in number one. That's for the first time around, that's the starting line, right? Yes. And that's right over here on the road. Race day came early and I stayed up too late the night before getting to know some of the other club members. It seemed like I barely got the sleep out of my eyes before it was time to get dressed and get working. We got straight to work getting all the racers through tech inspection. It was shocking to me how many racers recognized me from these videos. And I'm so grateful for all the people that came by to say hi and express how much they like the videos. I can't tell you how incredibly awesome it is to know that the hard work that I've put into these videos is appreciated. But we ran tech inspection like a well-oiled machine. And it wasn't long before I had to go take my place out on the course. So this is gonna be my home for this race. So they were nice enough to uh, drive the drone and some other things out here I'll need at the checkpoint. Extremely important, the chair. I don't know what that sign's for. I guess that's to let the riders know which way to go, but that chair is gonna be a big deal. I should be good enough for this. For the 30 yards that I'm not willing to walk. Alas, I will be a fat man again. I hear. 
four stroke. Better get out of the way. You sweeping? Are you sweeping? No. Are, are you in this race or are you just riding? Fun out here. I didn't have to work. We'll put the super freak on the other side of the trail. And that people will see when they come over the edge and think, like, oh, there's a bike down. I better slow down. And then they're going to go, oh, it's Joe Rockstar. I better speed up. He's probably filming. My position on the course marked a spot where advanced riders would go to the left, which led to a tough technical section through a ravine that the novice class would be detoured around. My mission was simply to ensure that none of the novice riders went the wrong way. Fortunately, I had a partner to help, which freed me up to get some great footage. It wasn't long before the unmistakable thunderous roar of the first row of racers taking off echoed through the desert. Within minutes, the first rider came ripping through our section. He was moving so fast and got there so quickly, I was barely ready for it. This section tried to take some riders out, and there were some close calls, but the course would claim its first victims elsewhere. Sam Manuel is a tough course, and it just claimed one of its first victims. Yeah, we got a report that uh, bike 50 Charlie is going to be heading back towards the pit. He's done. Surprisingly, out of 225 big bike entries, only six riders got a DNF for this race. It wasn't long before the C riders started showing up. In fact, a couple of them were deep into the B riders, which begs the question, why are they in the C class? But sandbagging aside, let's talk about the C class. These guys are the heart and soul of these races. Without the novice riders, there'd be no race. And as a C rider myself, I couldn't help but cheer every rider on as they passed by. You got this! Yeah, go, man, go! Woo! Go, go!
I tried to capture as much as I could on film, but as the day grew long and the race came to an end, so did my batteries. So that's the end of the uh, Sam Manuel Copper Classic 2017. It took its toll on a few people, for sure. There's my partner, Lunchbox. We're headed back to base camp. I'll see you there, man. It was a short ride back to base camp. There, many of the racers were already packing up to go home. Oh, Did I win? Almost. No? Huh? I hope somebody brings my uh, drone back. It had been a long day and the sun was setting, but the work was not done. There were still scores to tally and trophies to be awarded. Soon these idols will be replaced with men. My prophecy came true and without much fanfare, Mitch Carvel, Zachary Bronner, and David Broderick stepped up to receive their awards. All right, so you just won the uh, Sam Manuel Copper Classic. Tell us what you thought, man. How'd it go? Yeah, uh, it was a long day. Um, the Enduros are not something I'm used to. It was good. I mean, I tried to push as hard as I could. These guys were going good today, and I think things were close. I didn't check the times, but I know everyone was pushing. Do you got any word of encouragement for beginner riders like myself who want, who maybe are intimidated by this whole thing and don't want to get out there? Um, don't be intimidated. I mean, we all start at the same spot. Um, it just takes time and getting out there and just getting comfortable with the terrain and the bike and just the seat time. And that's right the on. only difference between you and I. I've just been on the bike a lot more. So for somebody at the beginning level, just don't give up. And if your heart's there, just keep going and keep pursuing it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's okay. One more thing, say Go Joe Rockstar. <laughs> go John Rockstar. <laughs> John Rockstar? Who's that guy? Say go Joe Rockstar. Go Joe Rockstar. There you go. Right on, buddy. Thanks. All right, so any uh, words of encouragement for guys like me who are sitting on the couch a little intimidated to come out and race their first race in a big event like this? Yeah, for sure. You know, I started my first race nine years ago, and I did the same thing. I'd never ridden a dirt bike, bought one a couple months before, and came out and did it and just got hooked. You know, and the really cool thing is there's so much rider support out here between the nine clubs that we have. I mean, TRS is a great example of that, how they support riders and get new people into the events. So, you know, just encourage people to get out there and give it a shot. It only takes one time and then you're hooked. Right on, right on, thanks. Hi, this is George Weiss Paul again. We just finished up with the San Manuel Copper Classic, our 11th running. It was a great day. We had all kinds of riders out here, over 200 total riders on the course. A lot of excitement, a lot of happy smiling faces when they got to the finish line. Everyone enjoyed themselves. The club did a great job of organizing and taking care of all the riders. We also had a great amount of support from the, the local school with the food truck. So all in all, it was a, a huge success for us as a club. And we look forward to doing all this again next year. So for most, that was the end of the Copper Classic. But for those of us who worked the race, well, we spent one more night hanging out in preparation of the next day's activities, cleaning up the race course. Surprisingly, it didn't take long, and it was actually fun. And I felt a little bit of sadness at the end. I wanted to stick around and ride some more. I wanted to race. But I would just have to wait until the next race, March 25th at Globe, Arizona. There, the final round of the Moto City Off-Road Championship Series put on by AMRA will take place as well the final chapter in this adventure as always for those of you who stuck around to watch the whole video i really appreciate it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time joe rockstar out that's a wrap